I went for a run this morning. You're aiming for 140 on the Duolingo English test. I bought two coffees and a croissant at the deli. But the listen and type section is leaving you confused. Hello, I'm Francis from Last Minute English, and today we're looking at the listen and type questions in the Duolingo English test. We're going to look at what those questions are, some tips for how you can improve your score, and then we'll do some practice questions as well. And we've even got a free PDF with all of the tips and the strategies that you need to score 140 on the DET. So first things first, what is the listen and type section? So it's basically exactly how it sounds. You listen to a sentence and you have to type it exactly as you hear it. And this part of the test will be focused on your listening, conversation and comprehension subscores. So these questions come between six and nine times in the test. For each question, you'll have one minute. You'll be able to listen to the sentences up to three times. And remember, the DET is adaptive. So if before these questions you've been doing very well, it's gonna give you more and more difficult questions to see just how good your English is. So let's look at some tips for how you can get the best possible score in listen and type. First of all, active listening. Make sure that you're really focused. You're not just sitting having a think. You're in the exam. You have to be very focused on every word that is said because to get full marks, you have to write down every word and spelt correctly. So tip two is your typing accuracy. Make sure you practice typing quickly and you practice your spelling as well. And my third tip is to use all three of your listens. And we do it like this. The first time you listen, try to write down everything that you hear. Okay. You probably won't get all of the words first time, but write down as much as you can. Second time, so replay. Second time you listen, try to add any words that were missing. And then the third time, listen to check. So listen and compare what you've written to what you can hear and see if there's any last details missing. And make sure you use your full one minute, okay? There's no points for finishing in 20 seconds and then going, okay, next. You might as well try to listen as many times as you can and be as accurate as possible. And my last tip is to proofread. So use your full one minute. If you have 10 seconds at the end, read your sentence again. Just see if there's anything that doesn't look right. Any words are spelt wrong. Any part of the grammar isn't correct. Okay. And then make the changes, make it as good as it can be before you click the next button. And I have one more bonus tip for you as well. And this is a really important one. So in the DET listen and type, you'll lose more points for totally missing a word than for misspelling, spelling it wrong. What does that mean? It means that if you hear a word and you're not sure how to spell it or what it means, you've never heard that word in your life before, still try to write it down, okay? Even if you look at it and you think, what is that? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's better to write something. Just give your best guess about what words you heard. Try to write it down instead of not writing anything. It's very bad to miss a word completely. But if you misspell a word, it's not great, but it's better. Okay, that's enough introduction, enough tips for improving your score. Let's do some practice questions. We're going to do six practice questions in total. We're going to start a little bit easier and we're going to get more and more difficult. For each question, I'm going to give you uh, three times to listen. It will play automatically three times and you'll have one minute to uh, do your best. And I suggest that you actually do write these down. You can type them like, on your computer or on your phone, or if you don't have like a keyboard in a convenient place, you can write them on paper. But when you're preparing for the DET, it is better to practice by typing because 
the real test is going to be typing, right? And speaking of preparing for the DET, our DET preparation course is now available. It's an incredible course. It's so complete. There's so many different resources that we give you. And the goal of the course is to help you score 120 or higher the first time that you take the DET. Okay, so if that sounds interesting, make sure to check under the video for more details. So I'm gonna disappear now. I'm gonna go and have a cup of coffee and you have got your six practice, listen and type questions. All right, so do your best. And after the six questions, we'll come back and we'll look through the answers together. Okay, so the first question starts now. The weather today is sunny and warm. The weather today is sunny and warm. The weather today is sunny and warm. Is she riding a bike? Yes, she is. Is she riding a bike? Yes, she is. Is she riding a bike? Yes, she is. The university has students from across the globe. The university has students from across the globe. The university has students from across the globe. Despite never meeting, I feel like I already know you. Despite never meeting, I feel like I already know you. Despite never meeting, I feel like I already know you. They will have tried to change your mind by the time the facts have become clear.
they will have tried to change your mind by the time the facts have become clear. They will have tried to change your mind by the time the facts have become clear. To say her performance in the race was exceptional would be an understatement. To say her performance in the race was exceptional would be an understatement. To say her performance in the race was exceptional would be an understatement. Okay, so welcome back. How was your experience of the listen and type questions? By the way, when we've gone through the answers and you know how many you got right, make sure to uh, let me know in the comments. You could say, oh, I got three out of six, or I got zero out of six, I hope not, or I got six out of six. Let me know your score underneath the video in the comments. And remember as well, you can check out the free PDF that comes with this video. It has lots more practice questions uh, and you'll be able to listen to those audios and practice. Really, really good way to prepare. And of course, remember under the video as well is our full DET preparation course. Make sure you check all of that out. So let's go through the answers. So number one, Pretty simple, I think. I think it was an easy one. I hope you got it right. The weather today is sunny and warm. Okay, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Then number two is two sentences and we needed to get the question mark as well. So is she riding a bike? Question mark. Yes, she is. And notice also the comma after yes. It's not absolutely essential to get this, uh, this punctuation in punctuation is like question mark and comma and full stop but it's better if you do get it okay that's going to be the top marks number three the university has students from across the globe the globe means all around the world so those first three were not too difficult but then four five and particularly six start to get more difficult so at number four despite never meeting comma i feel like i already know you okay then five they this was pretty difficult they will have tried to change your mind by the time the facts have become clear okay so it's a long one and there's lots of little details and the tense is more complicated and that's something that you will see when you are doing these higher level questions so this is the future perfect tense they will have tried to change your mind. Pretty difficult. And then finally, number six had some difficult spellings. So to say her performance in the race was exceptional, I wonder if you got that one right. If you did, good job, would be an understatement. And if you're not sure what that means, exceptional means very, very, very good. And an understatement, if we say to say something something would be an understatement it means that it's even more the truth is even more than what we're saying so we're saying her performance was very 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 good but actually the truth is it was even better than that so saying it was exceptional would be an understatement and you might say like in in work um, if you give a piece of work to your boss and he says to say that I am satisfied with this piece of work would be an understatement. It means he's really, really happy with the piece of work. So it's a nice thing to hear. 
So there we go, now you should be a lot more confident and more prepared to get a high score when you take the DET and tackle those listen and type questions. If you found today's video useful, make sure to like and subscribe. Remember to leave your score for those practice questions in the comments and also check out under the video those really useful resources, including our course. I'm Francis from Last Minute English. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.